Hey guys, so I just had a field hockey game, so I was going to take a shower, and then I figured that I would uh, uh, do that makeup um, tutorial, or at least show you how I put on my makeup for Cortana. So, to get started, um, not that I'll be putting these on, but the very first step I would do, um, if you're cosplaying a character that has colored eyes and you have contacts for them, um, go ahead and put those on first. Uh, these... Ooh, 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 where's my finger? Where's my finger? Oh yeah, well that's blurry. Um, these are what I'd use for Cortana. Very striking icy blue eyes. Um, if you need contacts, either prescription or colored lenses, put those on first. I'm not going to because I'm lazy and I don't like poking myself in the eye. Uh, secondly, you need your makeup. Uh, for Cortana, I have two different kinds of blues. Uh, that's kind of hard to see, but you know, I'll show you with this. But you can kind of see that they are slightly different tones. This one has more of um, like a brighter tone, kind of almost like a hint of uh, underlaying green to it. It's a lot brighter. Um, this one's uh, a lot more on the cooler tones. Um, these two are both uh, water-based. And then this one here is a cream-based or oil-based. It's a lot darker. I'll be using that for lips and uh, eyeshadow and whatnot. Um, and then lastly, I have... Uh, I can't read... Oh, I can't read backwards. Uh, Bill Nye Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder. Um, so I use that... Uh, last to set everything and that allows me to wear my makeup for anywhere from four to six hours without it smudging. So to get started uh, if you have just one color uh, for your character go ahead and just use the one color uh, for Cortana since I have the two um, this is how I'll be starting off. So you also need makeup sponge Get a little damp, nice and wet, not so it's dripping. You don't want to be able to drip, uh, squeeze out any water, yet you still want it to uh, have moisture in it. Um, squeegee, not squeegee, make circular motions um, on your cake patty. Get your sponge nice and full of this. And what most people tend to do is they tend to just, sh like, paint it on your skin. They, they just streak it. Mm -hmm. They just streak it and do one layer and you can see it's very streaky. You can see, still see my skin underneath and it's just overall not very good. Um, if your sponge seems a little bit dry, uh, add a little more water. Uh, the first layer, the key is fucking doing it in the mirror. It's so odd. Um, the key is layers. Uh, the more layers you have, the better it's going to be. Um, so what I normally do for the very first layer, uh, is I just paint it on. Just paint it on my face like you would be painting a, uh, painting. Paint it all around. I'm not going to paint my whole face because I don't really feel like scrubbing my face. And because I have an Asian nose, um, it's kind of hard to get in between here. So what I do is I just actually push my nose to the side and dab it in the little corners there. Continue on with the rest of the face. Make sure you get the eyes. Don't poke yourself in the eyes. I find dabbing works best. Get your lips. Stop talking. And there. I'll just do that section for now. So um, next step, let it dry. And the face. It dries relatively well if you don't have um, the paint dripping wet, like dripping off face. That's, that's another thing that people tend to do wrong is that they have it dripping wet and it strips off their face and leaves streaks. They're painting streaks on their face and it's just overall uneven. So it's more or less dry now. Make my sponge a little bit less wet because I added some water. Uh, same thing. Really cake that in there. And this time, instead of painting on your face, um, you're going to go ahead and dab it on your face. Dab it in as evenly as you can. Get it all over. 
really kind of wiggle it in uh, where your eyebrows are. Again, don't poke your eye because then you'll have to wash your eye because I'm sure it'll be irritating and then you just ruined your paint job. So, now you can see it's pretty even here, um, but again, if you have just one color, I would suggest going uh, and doing a third layer to really get it very even. Um, I'm not going to, with this color, I'm going to rinse out my sponge and go ahead and do the third layer in the other tone of blue. This will help to uh, match it better with my suit, my bodysuit. So let this layer dry again. Yeah, see, it dries pretty quick. Um, and again, dab this third layer on. Uh, just like the second time. Now I'm sure on on the camera you can't really see um, that much of a change in color. It's very subtle, but it definitely matters um, when it matches or when I put on my suit, which I'm not going to because I'm lazy. So go ahead and dab it all over again. Um, with, with the under part of the eye, just be careful about how you go about dabbing it to really get it uh, in there. This probably looks trippy. So yeah, so if you're doing just one solid color and you don't need any other toning, um, then that's that. Uh, shit, I'll be right back. Sorry, forgot my paintbrush. Okay, so, now, if you want to add more depth uh, to your face, um, take your paintbrush, uh, and your darker color, again, for example, of Cortana, um, now, this is a cream base, so when I put it on my lips, it will actually allow me to be able to lick my lips without the paint coming off, because the other two are water-based. Um, so you don't really need to get your spun, or your paintbrush if you're doing, uh, if you're doing smaller details. Uh, you don't need to get that wet. I usually like to, because I don't want my paintbrush ruined. Uh, I would suggest, obviously, using a um, makeup paintbrush. Uh, I just use one of my regular small paintbrushes because I have a lot. And then uh, go ahead and apply it to places that would uh, need a darker color. For instance, eyeshadow, your eyebrows, um, in this case Cortana's lips. So go ahead and put that on. I usually get a little more into the lips so that when I talk, it doesn't look quite as pink and fleshy underneath because Cortana's blue. Should add music in the background. Just like lipstick. You already paint lipstick on. That's weird. Okay, so now I'm going to paint my eyebrows blue. Now keep in mind I'm doing a very messy job because it's not like I'm going out for a photo shoot or anything. Um, I'll put a little bit underneath, I probably have a very dirty face, um, just to show you kind of the idea of a darker color going on for eyeshadow. Um, now this part on your eye, you can use a uh, water-based makeup, that is okay, um, and you don't need an oil base because it is kind of annoying to wash off, you really need to scrub with soap and whatnot. Um, 
but I figured it's the same color blue I need for my lips anyways, and it's good for when I want to look at my lips. Um, see now right here is a little bit blotchy, so I'm going to go in with my sponge and makeup again and just dab that on there, and then and that will help blend it some. thinking I'm crazy. So, let's go part dry. So that's the basics of it. Uh, now, normally I would go ahead uh, with a uh, eyeliner and then just draw on a little bit on the corners and whatnot to really make my eyes, you know, different. Um, and then with after you're done all of your makeup and that's all to your liking, um, go ahead and take that colorless powder, get another spongy here, a dry sponge, open it, where's the opening, there it is, and kind of just put some on the sponge and with this, dab it all over your face as evenly as you can. I take a bit of whatchamacallit, but does its job. Really dab it in nice and evenly, obviously you don't want chunky white bits, although it says colorless it is a little bit white. If you don't do it right. Again, I'm not going to worry about how even I get it on because I'm not going out anywhere. Um, you can definitely put a lot of this on your lips to stop any smudging. And so you see how my lips are now, and now I can lick them without I'm getting wet. See, so I'm getting a little bit on my tongue from the from the the water-based one because I didn't completely cover it up with the uh, the oil based one, but that's okay. So that's the basics for um, face painting. Uh, you can use it for an anime character or whatever. Uh, if you want to do more fancier stuff, you could, but uh, that is the basics. And you can see that I am very evenly and promptly blue. Okay, let's go to that, sorry. And I would actually match my suit, um, not seamlessly, but very close in color. And, uh, yeah. So, if you have any other questions, um, uh, post below and I'll try and answer them. I will also post uh, all the product brand names and whatnot that I used uh, for Cortana. Um, I don't know if I can really really suggest you any other uh, brands because I don't I really know of too many, but uh, I'll definitely post so that you can also touch without it coming off. No smudging. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have clothing, though, that would be touching it, like say for instance a collar or whatnot. Um, there's not much on there. Uh, there's a tiny bit on there you can't really see, but that's because I kind of really pressed down on my face. Um, but uh, yeah, hope this will help you guys. And see ya.